what is going on everyone and welcome to another video so today what we're going to be doing is probably just some casual daily chores that i had to do before maintenance tonight but i had a topic that i wanted to talk about uh, i've been hearing about it a lot over the i guess years but now is kind of more it's like appearing more often so one of the topics that I've been hearing is how to avoid burnout in this game. Now, obviously that comes from a lot of different things, but for me, I'll try to give you some tips that I use every now and then. It's not that I'm bored of the game, but it's just you can't do the same thing every day. Otherwise, obviously you'll get burnt out. So if you're feeling like you're doing what you're doing is boring and you want to switch it up, um, the best thing I could tell you is to set different goals in the game and try to work on uh, something else or just try to find something you've never done before. So as you guys know, there's a lot of different players in this game, whether you're into the whole PvP or PvP aspect. Um, actually, tomorrow in the update, there's going to be the Arena of Solaire, the first season. To all of you PvPers out there who are looking to do that with equalized gear and stuff, that should be a pretty fun thing to try out. They had the preseason, and that was I thought that was pretty good, actually. But yeah, so things I wanted to talk about more in the PvE side of it. So I know a lot of people come from this or come to this game from I don't know, insert any other MMO, and I guess the best thing I could tell you about this game is. Take whatever knowledge you have of every other game and just kind of like throw it out the window. Because, for example, like World of Warcraft, every time they have a new expansion, your gear is outdated. You just got to find groups of people to get the latest gear, do the latest raids and all the stuff. And so that's content. But this game is an open world sandbox, more or less. And you can do whatever you want. So... Yeah, things I wanted to talk about were what I did and how you could swap it up. So, hold up. We got this boss going on. Is it going to attack my... Oh, my God. What level does... Uh, do these mobs just not attack your horse anymore? It's like mid-50s or something. But, yeah. So, this is going to be... Uh, maybe part one for all the people who are think just only interested in uh pve so let's say when you come in your mentality of this game is okay i just gotta grind for gear and you don't really know how life skills work i actually have a series where we cover like all the life skills and i go over like beginner tips and tricks so if you want to watch that feel free to check that out but if your only goal is to gear up um and like end game pvp you could try something else and i want to talk about which life skills i do and what you can try out so ooh, actually that's nice knowledge so one thing first of all if you're upgrading gear i understand upgrading gear is very difficult and it's actually kind of tedious so Another thing you could try is never roulette your gear. I know you see some people doing that. And ultimately, rouletting is never really a good idea. Because let's say you're full pet gear, right? And then your goal is to get your first piece of pen gear. Now, I understand that it's not like hard to get back. But let's say even if you hit your gear to pen and the rest of your gear is like try or pry... Your gear score total is still probably lower than it would have if you just didn't do that. So that's like the biggest thing in terms of gear. Stop rouletting. If you really enhance, then try to work on one piece at a time. That way, one, it doesn't feel as bad when it fails. And like your gear score, your AP, DP just doesn't go down like significantly. It's only like a small chunk that you can get back. And one thing I've always set for myself, even when you see me enhanced today, is 
always try to have enough materials to get where you were at previously and so like worst comes to worst you have all the bad luck and you just have a larger fail stack now but you're still where you are and yeah that is kind of annoying to do but it's not as bad so that's one big tip i can give anyone uh, especially new players is don't roulette your gear enhance gear one at a time if you don't want to buy it which buying it off the market is the smart play and if i did i would be like almost hard cap gear at this point but you know we do it some things for the content so anyway other things is if you're only a grinder you could try life skilling and i understand that some of the life skills are not as uh valuable i guess you can say like you won't make as much money doing some things but some things you will depending on how like how much gear you have in a way so you could always try like you just look at it and gathering is a life skill that works with a lot of other things like cooking alchemy processing and that way is like when you gather the materials, you could do a few other life skills in the process and make money and get gear that way. And I guess I should say, if you're a new player, you already know that your PVE PVP gear is very different from your uh, life skilling gear. You would use like Monos or equivalent. And uh, that's a little bit different. They're both very expensive in the long run, but you would try like it's like two different skill sets so it's something you just build up over time and i think the most fun life skilling ones are the active ones where it's like you're out gathering sometimes you're out hunting uh and then sailing those are usually the most fun for me not necessarily the most profitable so if you want to try those go for it I know some people like active fishing out in Margoria, but that kind of requires a little bit of a setup. But I, we'll talk about sailing a little bit later because that one is like a whole new thing that a lot of other MMOs don't do properly or just don't do at all. And um, so, yeah, if you're gathering already and you're still getting burnt out, what do you do? You try gathering different things and like go to different spots daily. So as you guys already know, uh, there is a quest to get Liana's tool bag. It basically allows you to hold all the tools in one thing, which is uh, just a nice quality of life change. So in my opinion, doing uh, butchering is probably the most profitable gathering one. But if you're trying to make it to use for yourself, then fluid collecting is probably the one you would use for alchemy. Uh, I guess the butcher knife is more for cooking, fluid collector is alchemy, and Monos lumbering tool and the pickaxe are for like gathering and crafting various things. So let's say you're trying to make yourself your very first uh, carrick or frigate, whatever, boat. Then you're going to have to get a lot of the materials yourself or you just buy it on the market. But timbers itself are kind of expensive so you might want to try making it yourself instead of buying it and that's a good goal to have next we have cooking if you are only cooking i know cooking is very profitable life skill and it's also very hard to explain to people how you make a lot of money because one uh like it requires a lot of gear to do uh high-end cooking and ultimately getting started you're gonna have to figure out where to go and i guess for me when i first started cooking i was very confused because one you don't know what you're supposed to make uh two you don't know where to get anything it's kind of like every other game so i guess a, a little story is back many years ago when i was in like high school or something uh, i played runescape for a good year and then that was it but runescape gave me like the patience to just stand around chopping trees cooking and doing all the other life skills that we do now and so i had a little bit of knowledge on like 
how do you go about doing things and figuring it out wasn't really difficult at all. So, yeah, I guess what you should do is find something that you really enjoy cooking and every day set a different goal of what material you're going to go out and gather and obviously you can't get all of them so you're gonna have to put up orders on the market set your nodes to the right ones that you're going for so let's say you're just trying to make uh cron meals for example that one is i would say a more complex uh system or setup to make because cron meals require multiple meals to combine but you have to get the like i don't know 15 16 different materials and then combine those so it's not like instant profit. It is a multi-step process of cooking. That's where a lot of big money comes in. But you get a lot of that just by setting a goal, gathering X thousands of whatever you need, and just do that daily. And it's like switching the spot up is mostly the important part. And what do we have next? I did want to talk about... Um sailing and bartering because that one is i think a unique one that a lot of other mmos don't really do as often so how do you get started you look at the map and you're just like okay there's so many nodes i don't know how to start so if you're thinking about uh sailing and bartering what you're going to want to do is buy your your first boat now it's 2022 uh, I would recommend just buying a boat because back in the day you had to go to Port Aferia and do like dailies for your first month and then you get the daily material to create the boat. Uh, nowadays, having 2 billion silver is like, what, a few hours of work? So before we go fight that boss, I just want to point out. So where do you go buy it? You go to the ship section in the central market. You go to registration and then you get the frigate or the sailboat. Uh, I have a long video on how to go about getting your uh, first carrick and tips and tricks I can give you. But honestly, you have to figure out which kind of sailboat or frigate you want um, as they will eventually upgrade into a carrick later on and they all do different things, but that's like a different story. Uh, ultimately, if you have any questions on boat stuff, feel free to uh, ask because it is kind of complicated but anyway so yeah i wanted to talk about sailing more because it is something unique that i don't see a lot of other mmos do as well and it is kind of a setup because getting boat gear is different as well and that could be a long-term goal because getting the gear is like getting your any other gear but you have to upgrade it as well and getting the materials is not as easy because it's it's more time consuming. Hold up. Oh, we did it. Even got a boss box. Oh, get away from me. Hey. Uh oh, we got a Griffin scroll. That's not good. So, yeah. Try sailing out. It's. It is, it's not bad money, to be honest. It's not the greatest, but it is something that I have definitely put a lot of time into. And bartering is one of those more or less AFK activities. So let's say you're busy and you don't have a lot of time daily, but you work from home or something. You can just set your auto path with your boat to go from point A to point B, barter, go back and do it. And it's not that it's boring, it, it's just a lot of steps. And I think bartering would be a good one because you actually do feel accomplished when you get, like, let's say your first boat gear piece or your first boat. And it's definitely one of those things that give you one of those like adrenaline rushes. And you feel accomplished because you can't actually buy it on the market. Well, certain gear you can, but once you get to character, you, you cannot buy it off the market and then it's like you feel like you earned everything yourself so i think sailing is a good one i have a video of it on how to make your characters if you're interested in looking that up go for it but 
aside from that if you have zero interest in life skilling whatsoever and you're just like why am i running in circles grinding for money all day um one thing i could do is i kind of have this issue as well every now and then it's not that it's boring but it's just like where should i go grind today what do i want to do so i guess some tips i can give you if you are not like the end for end one percent of players is i know a lot of people don't particularly have all the cup thingies for your accessories and that one is definitely very helpful to get ultimately but it is kind of a grind so you could try grinding different lvs spots dailies for the shard pieces also whoever designed this boss just like, bye can't wait for tomorrow tomorrow we get super armor on airstrike Ooh. but yeah so grind different spots try it out and one thing i i noticed that i used to be like this too i used to try to min max every grind spot that i did and to the point where it became less fun i still do more or less track my trash loot an hour and it is important but ultimately when you're just like oh i didn't make x amount of trash loot this hour i didn't make one billion silver at this spot you kind of just like eventually it starts to feel like work and it's less fun so for the past few years i've just grinded spots that i enjoy not necessarily the ones that give the most money yeah i guess people are like always efficient in this game which is something i've noticed over the past i don't know six years i've been playing this game i get everyone wants to be super geared get things as fast as possible but that's where hard burnout really comes in and i've definitely had those moments so do things you enjoy not necessarily min maxing everything because generally when you see other people do it like let's say a streamer or a youtuber is like okay i i made a billion silver in this area and then you look at their gear and then it's like you, they are in the one percent so not and not everyone is at that point so yeah so just don't burn yourself out by looking at numbers all day yes i get it it's really nice to have gear but ultimately this game is a like, marathon and Take your time with it. If you're having fun, you're generally gonna be doing something for longer periods of time than if you're just like, okay, I'm done with my hour of grind today. And what do I do now? So, yeah, I guess that's a big thing. I understand a lot of people that have the mentality of going coming into this game and they're like, okay, grind, do circles, get gear. It's like every other MMO, but ultimately try different things and a lot of fun that way oh, no griffin helm unlucky so let's see what are the items and stuff i could talk about infinite potions the compass piece the map piece uh the rich merchant ring those are for the people that really enjoy grinding i would say go for that if you wanted to but the end of the day that's like <laughs> if you're thinking about burnout probably going for like the rich merchant ring or compass is probably not the thing for you but yeah i think one thing that they did right was added the pity system for infinite potions and i think these are accomplishing feelings for it like when you get these you really do feel accomplished for it just because it took you so long and i think the one thing that i really enjoy is that there's a light at the end of the tunnel for these kind of items and sure it's still a lot of time if you don't get lucky but at least you know that eventually you'll get it at a guaranteed rate it might be like half a year to get one thing but there is a light at the end of the tunnel i think that's what keeps people going just in general for anything but yeah i know there's a lot of 
different things to do in this game. So just let me give you a quick rundown of what I think is good. Uh, if you're a new player, or even if you're not a new player, gathering is always a fun life skill. And it's... How do I put it? Is therapeutic the right word? I don't, I don't know. But it's like, it's calming, it's relaxing. If you're grinding at a high-end spot, yeah, you should be making more money. That's just my opinion, because you're putting yourself at risk of losing crystals and everything. But if you're gathering... You still make pretty decent money and uh you have zero risk of dying and if you do then you're doing something wrong probably but hunting was one of those things that i never really got into um until one day someone told me it's like okay you just do this get these things and it's actually not that bad i have some videos like of pretty much every life skill at this point but yeah it like hunting is one of those ones that's kind of unique it it's not well i say unique as in like most other games don't really have it whereas this one is eh, i mean like it's the same but it's kind of fun it's a different style of grinding i guess is the best way to word it and so is gathering so if you like doing something stick to it if you want to just try something else Hunting is fun. Gathering is fun. Uh, setting goals with cooking to make different things is pretty fun. Alchemy. Let's say if you only like PvEing or PvPing and you want to make some potions. And actually tomorrow they're coming out with the level 50 fairy. So basically if you have a level 41, it'll go up to level 50. You get a new skill that uh, is basically in your potion settings probably. The way it's going to work is it'll like the same way it auto pots your health and mana. It'll do food and scrolls and potion buffs as well. So I think that's something that more people should look into alchemy because technically it is cheaper to do a full potion or elixir rotation than it is to use like a frenzy at the moment. However, getting the materials is the harder part and I guess now is a good time to start gathering and getting materials for that. So that's one thing. Let's see what else. Uh, training is like horse breeding and all this stuff. I don't really have too much experience. I know how to do it, but it's one of those things that's more once you catch the horse, you just set an auto path going like from point A to B and going AFK. And suddenly your horse is 15 levels or maxed out later. And then you do it again. So I want to try to make another horse training video on how to like get started. But I don't know how to make it entertaining. And then trading. Trading used to be fun to be honest. And then it's like. It's almost like Pearl Abyss forgot this life skill existed in this game. And doing it is probably the most inefficient thing. However, I think everyone should try it at least once. But it's kind of like bartering, but on land. You take materials from one town to another town and then hopefully profit. And the further the distance you go, the more money you make. That sounds cool, right? It's like a pretty safe activity for the most part. However problem is that Prolobus has not updated prices of like the trade things in a while and by a while I mean like five years so it's kind of if you do it you're doing it for fun not necessarily for money or anything but the concept of trading is you buy some materials from an NPC I guess in town like let's say Heidel and then you bring it to Valencia and then sell those materials and then profit right but it's just that profit is not so much and you're better off literally doing anything else but once again as always i said before do things you think are fun even if it's not profitable uh sailing and bartering i could talk about that for a long time but ultimately it's just it's, it would take me a long time, so I have some videos. Just watch those instead. So with that said, hopefully those are some tips on how to avoid burnout. Just try different things. 
uh don't min max a lot the biggest tip i could give you is don't roulette your gear no matter what it is um work on one piece at a time i've definitely done that in the past and then even if you do hit your item at pen your gear score is probably still lower and it doesn't feel better at all so yeah with that said that's it for today thanks so much for watching hope you enjoyed if you did drop a quick like on the video if you're new hit that subscribe button i try to upload videos every day and tomorrow we'll definitely be covering all the new changes in the patch notes arena of solaire and whatnot so yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow